Hey guys, I'm Luca Paris, chef, restaurant owner, and now the president of the Greater Keenan Peterborough Chamber. And I'm driving around the whole Monadnock region looking for exciting places to eat and wonderful dining experiences. So come with me while we discover your new culinary journey. When you're walking around Main Street in the Monadnock region here in Keene, New Hampshire, I always have to stop at a place called Luca's Mediterranean Cafe. Part of it is because my name's on it. And I'm here with Tammy from GFA Federal Credit Union because this is our next stop on Discover Your New Culinary Journey. All right, Tammy, why don't you go find us a spot? I'll tell them all about the place. All right. <laughs> so Luca's Mediterranean Cafe opened in August of 2000. Long time ago, it was my dream. It was everywhere I wanted it to be, like this place that people could come to, enjoy life, try different foods, and it was my dream since I was 14 years old. Today, it's run by somebody else, Casey, and we're gonna introduce you to her and let you know all the cool things that are happening at Luca's Mediterranean Cafe right here in Keene. All right, guys, we're in Luca's Mediterranean Cafe where I spent the better part of 22 years of my life almost every day, and now, Casey is the one that's going to get to do that. Hi, Casey. Hi. You're the general manager now. I am. How's it feel? Pretty good. Yeah? Just Not too bad. Okay. Still sinking into it. Yeah. So, I mean, let's talk about, you know what it was like coming here as a guest yes. for a bunch of years. What was that feeling and what are you trying to convey as you run the place now? So, when I started coming here with my family, we made it our date night spot, our spot for like every big occasion in our lives, celebrations, and it was the one place in town where you could always show up and feel like you were part of the family. So we're trying to bring it back to that, make sure that every guest that walks through the door feels as comfortable being here as we do. That's awesome. So you, that makes me feel good because that was me doing that, right? Exactly. And I kind of like not having to worry about that anymore because you're here, Josie's here. You have an amazing team. I do have an incredible team. Well, I love eating here now. Yes? Yes, I do. No, I do. I mean, I spent many years like doing what you're doing and now I get to eat here. Yeah. And not just eat here, enjoy here. Well, you've got some wonderful chefs cooking. Yeah, I know. I guess it's pretty cool. And you're you're doing an amazing job. What am I going to have today? What do I get to try? Um, so we are going to do Nathan's Algerian chickpea chicken for you. Nice. It's a really cool, sweet and savory dish. Um, we're also going to do your namesake sandwich, the Luca's favorite, obviously. Oh, lucky I still have a thing on the menu here, you know. <laughs> and then I was thinking we would ask you whether you want a pasta. Wow, you, you're now you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> you know what? I do like the bolognese. All right, we'll do that for you. I love the bolognese. It's my mom's recipe, so they can't change that. That's one thing they can't change. But no matter what's going on here, it's really great food. So I have three items I'm going to eat. Yes. Good thing I brought Tammy with me. Perfect. Thanks, kid. You're awesome. All right, guys, we learned about the history of Lucas. I'm sitting at a table with one of my favorite people, Tammy, from GFA Federal Credit Union. You ready for this? I am so ready. What do we, you have the bolognese. Mm -hmm. That's my mom's recipe. You can't eat that and say it's bad. I'm just saying, letting you know that, right? <laughs> I would not say that. <laughs> I think it's gonna be good no matter what, but let's dig into that first. Yes. So cavatappi pasta, and with beef, pork, veal, stewed down, red wine, tomatoes, tons of flavor. Go ahead, you can eat, you don't have to wait for me. And it, it's so good. Mm-hmm, mm. So that's a great dish, and so if you just want some pastas, a lot of great pastas at Luca's, you, get, you can't go wrong. This is the reason we're here today, because this dish just made it to the menu. So Mediterranean Cafe, right? Mm -hmm. So what's Mediterranean Cafe? Well, a little bit of everything. All the worlds of the Mediterranean, or all the countries of the Mediterranean. This is an Algerian chicken dish that Chef Nate made. It has um, tomato, it has cream, it has these incredible spices, kind of warm, Pepper do peppers that have a little spice to it. Serve with these uh, stone fire naan breads, right? You get the chicken, you get the spice, it's just warming spices, the chickpeas. Uh, this thing's outrageous, so. I do want it. Mm. And then wait, there's more. <laughs> Josie, come on, bring it on over. You get to meet Josie at the same time. Yeah. Let's say hello to everybody, Josie. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is the Lucas favorite. Now, I gotta explain the Lucas favorite okay. to you. Since 1989, a version of this has been on a menu at a place I owned. So first, John Lucas Salumeria, then Cucina Luca, then the market at Lucas, and now at Lucas Mediterranean Cafe. Grilled chicken, but this is chicken thighs, broccolini, monster cheese, balsamic, and lemon aioli. Whether it's a pasta, whether it's an entree, whether it's small plate tapas, or a sandwich, or I think we even haven't talked about the burgers. It doesn't matter what it is. This place is a place to hit. Great people in the kitchen, in the dining room, run by wonderful people that care about the food and care about you. We hope you find your favorite spot in the Monadnock region. And when you are checking out the Monadnock region, make sure Lucas Mediterranean Cafe is one of them. And we'll see you next time and discover your new culinary journey. Right, Cheers. I love my life. Yeah, oh, you eat. Go ahead.